guys. So this is just going to be a quickie little instructional video um, about knowing the tools of your craft. And today we're going to be talking about the anatomy of a crochet hook, which I realize seems like a misnomer since isn't it just a stick with a hook on it? No, they actually do technically have parts to them. So I'm going to tell you what they all are and there's a reason why I have two out and I'll get to that in just a minute. So we're going to start at the top and work our way down to the bottom. So the very first part, the very tippy top of it is, unsurprisingly, the tip. On some of them, they're pointier. Like this one, I believe it's pointier. Some are pointier still, but obviously it just leads its way into the stitches and helps guide it through. Now this part, the actual part that most people consider to be the hook, is called the head, which Pretty much self-explanatory there. They can be shaped a little differently depending on it, on the hook, depending on the brand, depending on the size. There's a lot of variables. Then this part right here where there's the incline. Actually, I can show you better on this one because it's a sharper incline instead of more of a gradual one. This little indent here that goes on the incline and it starts here and ends at the top of the incline is called the throat. And this is where you catch your yarn when you're crocheting inside of this. And on some, they're like a straight line, sharp incline. On others, it's more of just a gradual curve, but it is from here to where that stops. Now, the next part is between the throat and over here, we have the shaft, and this is the part that determines the size of your hook and the size of your stitches. A lot of people, especially when they're new at crocheting, get hung up on they don't know where exactly the stitches are supposed to land on the hook as they're working the stitches, and they'll get caught down here, and then they wonder why it didn't size correctly. To correctly crochet, every stitch should at least briefly reach its way up to the shaft to make sure that it is the size it is supposed to be for the given project. The next part you run into over here, this flat bit here, is the grip or the thumb grip, depending who you ask. A lot of times it has the brand on one side and the size of the hook on the other. Some of them don't have anything written there though, but a lot of them do. And then the back end is just called the handle. And now you know all the different parts of a crochet hook. Hopefully this has been in informative for you guys. Um, as usual, if you like this video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Leave comments down below. Until next time, bye!